we are in Turkey and since I'm able to do university online I do not actually have to be on the Azores so I decided to do a work away program we are gonna have some breakfast and after we are just gonna go and check out the area Usually there are different kinds of olives, sauces, dips, jams, dried fruit, cheese, tahini and grape syrup, grounded poppy seeds, eggs, tomatoes, honey, butter, pastries and yeah. Also yesterday I discovered this uh, poppy seed butter which looks like this. And this is tahini. If you mix tahini with poppy paste you get something like Turkish peanut butter. The first day I arrived here, they showed me how you should prepare the tea. This thing boils water. You place the teapots on the top. Basically, if you turn this button up here, this thing will start giving you heat. So you just place the teapot on the top and it's gonna keep it warm. They use these very typical glasses. If the glass is too cold, you just rinse it with a little bit of hot water. You take the teapot and depending on how strong you want your tea, you just fill the cup. And then the last step, you just add some hot water. So yeah, that's basically the science behind the Turkish tea. Now I'm also gonna show you the view from this restaurant because it's very, very cute. So there is a view to the lake and the mountains. That's one of the mosques. The town is basically down there. There are the ruins of a castle where you see the flag like right here. And then here is the view to the other side. I actually have lived in Turkey before, but that was like four or five years ago and it was on the coast near Antalya. This time I am more in the central part of the country by one of the biggest lakes in Turkey. It is still not a very much known area, but there are actually so many things to do. In the winter it's very popular for skiing and in spring and summer there are so many hiking trails and biking roads. One of the most famous trails here in the area is the St. Paul's Trail, which is basically a 500 kilometer long trail. It starts near Antalya and it ends on the northern side of the lake. Apparently it takes three weeks to complete this trail. The town is not big, there is a castle, there are a couple of mosques, some shops and coffee shops and markets. It's actually pretty cute. But the main attraction is the little island which is attached to the town by a road. Like there is the town and this is the road by which the town is connected to the little island. is like a very small village. In the past it actually used to be a Greek settlement and this is the reason why they actually have a little church from the 19th century on the island. And besides of that there are a lot of restaurants and apartments and guest houses and that's basically the island. <laughs> 